All right. Well, welcome to Tips Live, and we are excited to have a guest with us today uh, from the Indie Property Source team, Jennifer Burton. Welcome, Jennifer. Hello. How are you? You're doing great. I know uh, we're excited to talk today, and uh, uh, while we're not in the same location, we are uh, connected here over Zoom, and uh, we've got a great topic. I think it's going to interest a lot of people, um, people that are looking for inventory in Indianapolis. Uh, certainly you're, uh, as a real estate broker, um, a resource uh, of incredible value to your clients. And uh, one of the things that you wanted to talk about today was Renew Indianapolis. Yes. So we tend to work with a lot of investors on this team and sometimes it's hard to find inventory. And if it's in a good neighborhood, it tends to go very quickly. There's a um, multiple offers. So I had stumbled across Renew Indianapolis, which is not a new company, but it was just something I had not seen before. Um, I had a buyer interested in a few properties and trying to contact them and get some information was very frustrating. So I just kind of made it a point to dive into this company and research to get answers and figure out how this process worked so I could share it with everyone else. That's awesome. And just so, you know, people kind of aware of what we're talking about, Renew Indianapolis was the rebranding of the, the land bank uh, in, in Indianapolis. Uh, there had been some uh, reorganizations over the past few years, uh, kind of got themselves in and out of trouble. But uh, so it's been in the news, but the new branding of Renew Indianapolis is very, it's very clear. And once you realize the, um, who they are and what they do, um, you know, it, it is a, a, a you know, very purpose-driven, uh, you know, not non-for-profit. They're um, uh, really in support of community development, so revitalizing neighborhoods, uh, reducing blight, driving economic growth, um, impacting and contributing to the quality of life, and uh, just working with partners in the community to to uh, to further that. So they actually. Well, uh, let me let me uh, pass pass this back to you. But uh, um, do you know how Renew Indianapolis actually acquires their inventory? How does it end up in their um, uh, on their books, so to speak? Absolutely, they um, these properties will go to tax sales. So um, usually, like bank owned properties that aren't purchased. Um, so if they don't sell at these tax sales, they go to a surplus sale. So the city steps in before that happens and will acquire these properties just to, um, you know, keep them in hopes that an investor will buy them and they have two years to renovate these homes and make them beautiful again. So it, it really is a good program that they have, um, you know, just kind of touching base on what you had mentioned a few minutes ago, just driving that economic force back up. Yeah, and it's exciting. I think, you know, being a, um, a very driven real estate broker yourself, I know that you sought this out as a, as a way to, to bring inventory to your clients, additional inventory, so that we can try to, to, you know, get those investors projects that they can really work on. But the twofold is that uh, these, these, this uh, Renew Indianapolis really does focus on keeping the community um, community's best interest involved. I mean, you, could, you couldn't go into one of these properties and, you know, barely fix it up just to rent it out, right? I mean, they're looking for, they're, they're yes, looking for they a, a have... big remodel. Right. Yes. They, um, when there's a process, it's a very detailed process into purchasing one of these homes and they provide you with a scope of work that you have to complete and submit with your application along with your financial information to show that you are uh, you know, qualified and able to restore this home and sell it for you know, their requirement. So what you're saying is you can't just offer the price that they're asking for and, uh, and, and get an offer accepted, right? You actually, there's an actual application process that you have to prove that you're a yeah. good fit to be their partner. Is that right? Yes, it's a very, I don't want to say strenuous process, but it is reviewed by three different boards and can take up to 10 weeks for the final approval. 
Interesting. Okay. There's a very detailed timeline that goes with that as well. And I think that's what deters a lot of buyers and investors is one, they don't know this information because it's not readily available. And secondly, it can take eight to 10 weeks to close. And a lot of people don't want to wait that long. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's, it's a lot like when, when we talk about online auctions, uh, you know, years ago when the housing crisis hit, the, a lot of banks established relationships with these online auction companies that uh, would put product out there. And then once people started to work with them, they maybe had run into some challenges and then just decided ultimately that's not a, a place where I want to buy a home, right? And so what we want to we want to try to promote, I guess, is that, you know, what we talk about internally is that we want, we want our agents to be equipped to work with many different types of sources of inventory. Certainly we're masters at working through homes on the, on the BLC and we're, uh, you know, very versed in new construction and, uh, you know, working with other investors and bank owned. I mean, you know, shoot bank owned is, is one of our key divisions. So uh, Jennifer being on our team has certainly had a, a wide variety of, of uh, expertise there. But even going beyond that, you know, to find these other sources of, you know, it may not be for everybody, but to your point, you know, this this could be a really good fit for, for some of your clients. Definitely. Um, I have one in particular that he's a very, He's a younger guy, so he doesn't have a huge bank account yet, but he definitely wants to get into investing. So this is definitely a great way to get his foot in the door. And, you know, he's got the time to wait the eight to 10 weeks for this process. So it, it's not for everyone, but it definitely yeah. does work for some people. So what are some of those challenges that, that someone might run into if they're applying for a, um, a, uh, sorry, <laughs> if they're applying for a, a project with Renew Indy, like what are some of those obstacles that they might need to be prepared, you know, in order to, um, you know, to bid on one of these homes? Mm -hmm. So traditionally as agents, you know, we submit an offer to the other, to the listing agent and wait for a response. Well, with Renew Indianapolis, you have to go to their website and Another obstacle is you can't just schedule a showing and go show up on your time. These houses are usually boarded up and Renew Indianapolis will host these showings similar to an open house. So online they have a schedule of when they are available to show these properties and you have to RSVP. If you don't RSVP, then you run the chance of this being canceled because you may be the only person wanting to show this property or see this property. So they will um, allow you to go in, take all the time you want, but once that's done, uh, you have to complete that scope of work and then your financial information and you have to submit all of this online through their website and it has to be completed by the first Friday of every month. So if you do it the first Saturday of the month, then you have to wait an entire month before they're even going to look at your application. That's a bummer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is a bummer. <laughs> so, right so, about those guidelines. Yeah, so, you know, complicated procedure. We're certainly not here to do any kind of sales pitch, but we are here to present our value. So, Jennifer, what role as a real estate broker do you serve in the process, and why does it make sense to, to, involve, to involve you in the, in the purchase? Well, one, some of these, you know, contractors, they are very good at doing, you know, what they do, but as far as helping them fill out a scope, the pricing, and getting it in the proper, you know, getting the verbiage correct to get this submitted, because if there's multiple offers on these homes, then they're going to look at all of those and they don't do a highest and best like they do in a traditional real estate setting. They review all of the applications. They look at your scope of work. They look at your financial, you know, how sound you are and your timeline. So if you have an inexperienced contractor who doesn't know how to properly fill out this scope, he may miss out even though he may be a better fit. So it's good to have a real estate broker 
to help assist and, you know, just make sure that's all filled out correctly and competitively. So. Yeah. So not only what I hear you say is, are you, are you looking at the as is pricing to make sure it's in line with the market or available at a discount? You're also looking to help consult on the construction to make sure that the, any updates or remodeling that they do is going to uh, serve them well on the, on the rehab side, on the resale side. And then, you know, you also give them that, that resale value, uh, you know, after X amount of dollars put in, it's going to be worth this much. And here's going to be our marketing strategy. And, yeah. and all of that on the buy side, just as with most buyer side transactions, your representation as a real estate broker doesn't cost the buyer anything. So for Absolutely. them to hire you in this case, uh, would be a phenomenal value add. And, uh, and that's how we end up working with a lot of our investors is we help them acquire these projects, put money into them. And then, uh, when it's time to sell, we, we put together a strategy to get them, to get them sold at top dollar. Yes. And that, you know, we work on those plans too, when they look at these homes, you know, I already go ahead and give them the value, you know, resale value, and is it worth adding another bathroom, you know, things like that. So they have all of that information going in. Well, that's, uh, that's amazing. And uh, they also do, uh, from what I can tell, in my knowledge of the land bank process, they, they do commercial properties as well. So they acquire blighted, uh, uh, a lot of times industrial or brownfield affected properties that, uh, you know, there's some good opportunity there as well. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize they also have some rental properties that they um, work with mm. as well. That is interesting. Did not know that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, um, th this has been a great discussion. I think really important topic, you know, as we look for ways to bring properties and to bring value to our clients. I think it's important for people to get a glimpse to see what you do and and collectively what the Indy Property Source does when, we, when we're out there sourcing projects, we, you know, where exactly, you know, or, or at least what are some of those avenues so that, uh, you know, that, that our clients or our potential clients can know um, who they need to get plugged in with. So uh, that's awesome. I really do appreciate you sharing that. Uh, Jennifer, what's, what are some good ways that people can get a hold of you um, via email or, or your website? Uh, both in Facebook. I have my cell phone number everywhere, so okay. <laughs> I try to be very easily accessible. So, um, but yeah, social media, my email, my cell phone. And so jennifer.theindyproperiesource.com is your website, and I know all, a lot of your contact information is on there. I'm sure we'll we'll tag you on it as we as we post it here. But uh, Great. you know, really excited to talk to talk to you today. Is there anything uh, any parting uh, shots that you want to uh, give as we uh, wrap things up? I just thanks everyone who is calling me and letting me help sell or find your next home. I really appreciate all that and all the support that, you know, I get with the Indy Property Source and Keller Williams. It's great. Well, awesome. You're uh, having a great year helping a lot of clients and we're really excited uh, uh, to see what you're doing. So appreciate all that you do, Jennifer. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right.